It's really zoomed. Okay, so intro. Yay! Cute. <laughs> 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 talk through the video because I feel like around my friends and my family I'm pretty talkative and I feel like I'm pretty animated so I want that to come through in my video so it's not super awkward so that's what we're gonna do today this bitch opening my door hey. <laughs> all right so I haven't been wearing foundation lately because foundation really pisses me off and I don't know why I think it's just because like my skin is like super textured, like, I don't know. And it's really oily. So I went to Sephora the other day for my birthday and I got up my free birthday gift. Bitch, I am sitting up straight. <laughs> I can't sit any straighter. <laughs> I'm short so as it. shit. It's pretty good. Shut up! <laughs> what do you want? I'm trying to film. That one's for you too. Goodbye. Thank you. I'll use it. This video is gonna be like 45 minutes long. No. For like the fifth time that I'm trying to say. I went to Sephora for my birthday and I got my free birthday gift and it was a Glam Glow moisturizing kit. So it came with a moisture. <laughs> it came with a moisturizer and a face scrub. And then they also threw in a free Kudali, um moisturizing sorbet. So it's just a moisturizer. But what I do before I do my makeup, this Glam and Glow moisturizer is called Nude Glow, so it has like, it's like an illuminating moisturizer. So I use this and the other moisturizer as my primer. Even though I don't wear foundation, I still put like um, concealer and powder on my face and I don't want it to be super drying. Even though I do have pretty oily skin, I don't want to get like, super dry you know throughout the day and if i were to use foundation this is has like that nice like tacky feeling to it that uh, a lot of youtube beauty gurus talk about in like face primers and shit so it's a good primer so i use la colors um conceal it concealer in light I literally just picked this up at Family Dollar because I was out of concealer, so don't judge me. But I, I literally will just put this right under my eyes and then a little on my forehead, on my chin, my nose, my smile lines. And then if after I blend it out, I find that there's still spots that need to get you know covered up with concealer from redness and stuff, then I'll go back and like touch it up but then I just use my beauty blender. It's not an actual beauty blender, relax. That's just what I call it because that's the easiest thing to call it. Makeup sponges are actually ugly, so I'm not gonna say that. So blend that ish in. And sometimes I wet my beauty blender, but sometimes I don't. Uh, and then to set my under eyes, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me uh, powder in 100. I think it's literally just, yeah, it's literally just translucent because I'm so damn pale. Actually, I got a little bit of tan. Went to California over spring break. So I just, I use that on the tip of my beauty blender and go on my under eyes, just to set the under eyes. And then set my chin, smile line, my forehead. And a lot of people ask me like how I can get away with wearing no foundation. It's like, um, anybody can get away without wearing foundation. You just have to choose not to, so. And I know people are like, well, how do you get your skin like so perfect? Or like, how come like you can just not wear foundation and I can't? Well, that's because I chose to. I mean, I understand like if you don't like your skin, how it looks without foundation, but just give your skin a little love and. Get there. 
so I'm using this CoverGirl powder. I don't know what shade it is in because it's old as hell, I'm gonna be honest. But I'm just gonna take this on a fluffy brush and just set the rest of my face. That's literally the worst thing. Like if you're in class or something and you're talking to somebody and then the, everybody just gets quiet and you feel like everybody's listening to you. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my Too Faced Dark Chocolate uh, Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. That's so pretty, look at that. Look at that. Okay, and then my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush, which I don't know how the hell this is a foundation brush. But that's okay. And I'm just gonna give my cheeks a little bronzing. I typically don't use blush all the time either just because I tend to be really pink like in the cheeks. So like, and I have like a natural like pinky reddish undertone. So it's like, yeah, the concealer helps cover it up a little bit, but I also will have that natural like pinkness showing through. You won't see these nasty looking eyebrows go from this to this. <laughs> um, I used my e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. By the way, this shit's bomb. It was only $2. Uh, so my eyebrows are on, you know, they're popping. I don't feel super naked anymore. Um, so then I'm just gonna take the rest of the concealer that I used for cleaning up my brows and I'm just gonna use that on my eyelids as a eyeshadow primer. And for eyeshadow, it's just gonna be like a natural kind of neutral-ish look. So I'm gonna take this ColourPop tapered blending brush, I guess. And then take, this is an LA Colors palette. It was like 10 bucks, so. And I'm just gonna take that shade right there. Take that in the crease and diffuse it out. I try not to be super specific with palettes just because I know like, I'm a high school student, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm not going to Sephora and buying Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff and Too Faced stuff. Like, this Too Faced bronzer, I got from my best friend. I didn't have to buy shit. So I know for me personally, since I'm a high schooler, I like to find the most inexpensive stuff, but still really good quality. So most likely that's the kind of stuff you'll see me use. So I'm gonna take the color Top Notch. Oh my God, you can't see that. Top Notch, blend that more into the crease to deepen it up. Not really gonna bring it out anywhere, just kind of blend it into the crease. So I zoomed it in a little bit because just cuts. Okay, so then I'm gonna take, whoa, that color pretty dark one on the bottom on the same brush and work it on my outer V. Just right in there. Bring it on the lid a little bit. So y'all use whatever works for you if you're gonna try to copy this or if you're just watching this because you think I'm ugly and you wanna laugh at me. That's fine too. I would laugh at me too. But um, yeah. But if y'all are gonna try to do this, use whatever you have because that's literally what I do. Just make sure it works for you. Is that same LA or LA Colors palette, this color. And then just put that um, on my inner portion of my lid. So there's the lids done. Now I'm gonna go to my lower lash line and use that same top notch color as I did in my crease and just go on my lower lash line. The next step would be to put mascara. Pumped up mascara by Maybelline. And look how big the freaking applicator brush is, it's huge. So we're just gonna coat these babies. These lashes are pretty sad. And I tend not to curl my lashes just because it doesn't stay. I could heat my lash curler, but that takes a lot of effort. Okay, so eyes are done. 
lashes are done. I'm sorry, I did that off camera because I cannot. Um, I literally just use Ardell lashes. I think they're like wispy ones or something. Um, I very rarely go for like super bold, like fluffy ass lashes because I just feel like it looks weird on my face. But if I'm doing it on somebody else or I like truly think like the look that I'm doing would go with that, then I'd use that. But for this, I'm using more natural kind of lashes. They're, they're chilling. The next step of all this would be highlight, which is one of my favorite parts. And I'm trying to decide which one I want to do because if y'all follow me on Snapchat, I don't hate to be that person, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I posted on my Snapchat some videos of these new highlighting palettes that I got and oh my god, I love them. So, I think what I'm gonna go with is this Glamour palette. Oh my god. Radiant Highlight palette. And I'm gonna use the color, where is it? I'm gonna use this one. It's called Lit! I like the brush that it came with. However, I'm gonna use my own because it's literally the best brush for highlight ever. I don't even know what kind of brush it is, where it's from. I got it from my grandma. It's the best. So look how, ooh. Look how much like more intense that is now that I use that brush. This is such a pretty gold. Cheekbones, little on my chin. Just rub that in a little bit with my finger, tip of my nose. I love nose highlight, let me tell you. I actually am one of those people who kind of likes my nose, even though like sometimes I turn and I look like a witch. Um, that's okay, but I kind of like my nose, and so like nose highlight is like one of my favorite things ever. If you ever have like an old person come up to be like, your nose is shiny. Yeah, that's me. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Literally. I can never have enough highlight. I don't, I don't know how that's a thing. Mm, I'm glowing. You already know, it's a good day. Uh, I'm gonna take the brush that the palette came with and go in my inner corners. Just because this brush is a little more narrow for that and I can do that. So, here we go. Ba-boom! And I'm gonna go on my brow bone with this brush. Set my face. Don't breathe it in. Ugh. Disgusting. The lipstick I'm gonna use today is something I actually bought at Sephora. It's the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Icon, which is a really pretty like adobe brick kind of color. Oh, see, now that, that's not cute. So, this is the final look. Gotta get my beauty guru on, you know. I'm feeling cute, okay. Ugh. Am I glowing? Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? let's do some cute YouTube makeup, bitch beauty shots, you know, with all the mm, mm, mm. So, I hope y'all liked watching me go from boring bitch to bad bitch because it's a hobby. I love it. And now that I think of it, I might actually do this look for my birthday because it's real cute. It's super easy too. So if you guys liked it, uh, leave a like. You know the deal. Um, comment if you have anything to say, I guess. If you're mean, I don't really care. I'll just block you. <laughs> um, and then subscribe if you haven't already. So I hope you guys liked it. I will see y'all in my next video. And peace out. Y'all, dudes, bros, I don't know, I gotta come up with an outro.